you wrote this essay in 2019 titled The Bitter Lesson. And this is the most influential essay, perhaps, in the history of AI. But people have used that as a justification for scaling up LLMs because, in their view, this is the one scalable way we have found to pour ungodly amounts of compute into learning about the world. And so it's interesting that your perspective is that the LLMs are actually not bitter lesson pilled. It's an interesting question whether uh, large language models are are uh, a case of the bitter lesson. Yeah. Because they are clearly um, a, a way of using massive computation, th things that will scale with computation uh, up to a up to the limits of the internet. Yeah. Uh, but they're also a, a way of putting in a lots of um, human knowledge. And uh, so, so this is an interesting question. Um, it's a, a sociological or industry question. Uh, will they reach the limits of, of, of the data and, uh, and be superseded by things that, that are, that are, can get more data just from experience rather than from uh, from people. Uh, in some ways, it's a classic case of the of the of the bitter lesson. With the more with the more human knowledge we put into the large language models, the better they can do, and so it feels good. And yet, uh, one oh, well, I in particular expect there to be systems that can learn from experience, and which could well perform much much better and be much more scalable in which uh, case it will be another instance of the bitter lesson that the things that, that, that used human knowledge were eventually superseded by things that just um, trained from uh, experience and computation. I, I guess that doesn't seem like the crux to me because I think those people would also agree that the overwhelming amount of compute in the future will come from uh, learning from experience. They just think that the scaffold or the basis of that, the, the thing you'll start with in order to pour in the compute to do this future experiential learning or on-the-job learning will be LLMs. And so I, I guess I, I still don't understand why this is the wrong starting point altogether, why we need a whole new architecture to begin doing experiential continual learning uh, and why we can't start with LLMs to do that. Well. In every case of the bitter lesson, you know, you could start with uh, human knowledge, right, and then just and then do the scalable things. Yeah, that's always the case, and there's no and never any reason why that has to be bad, right? But in fact, and in practice, it has always turned out to be bad because people get locked into the human knowledge approach, and they psychologically or you know now I'm now I'm speculating why it is, but this is what has always happened. Yeah. That uh, yeah, you, they get they get their lunch gets eaten by the methods that are truly scalable. G yeah, give me a sense of what the scalable method is. The scalable method is you learn from experience. Um, you uh, you you try things. You see what you see what works. No one no one has to tell you. First of all, you have a goal. So without a goal, uh, there's no sense of right or wrong or better or worse. So large language models are trying to get by without having. Uh, a goal or a sense of better or worse. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.